Hello YouTube viewers, I'm Sri Tips and today what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about my waste treatment process with my gold and silver refining operations. What I'll be doing is making a uh, block diagram up here on this little board to show you precisely what I do and how I treat my waste from my gold and silver refining operations. First thing we start with is gold. I'm talking about carrot gold here now. Carrot gold. And I'm talking about 925 and sterling silver. They're both refined at the same time. And what we do here is we make an alloy it's called inquarting. We make an alloy of gold and silver. It's a low carat alloy uh, of gold, about 6K, or a little bit better. And most of it's going to be silver and base metals. The next thing I do is I put this alloy into a hot nitric acid treatment hot nitric. Alright, at this point the gold and the silver are being combined and then we're going to separate them chemically with hot dilute nitric acid treatments. What this does is it removes the silver and the base metals from this alloy that I created here. They go into solution, and I save this solution for later refining. This solution with the silver and base metals will have an excess of nitric in it. So what I want to do there to consume that excess nitric is add some more silver. Next, once I'm certain that all the excess nitrate has been consumed, and I can tell that when there's extra pieces of silver left in the bottom of the reaction vessel, I want to filter this solution to remove solids. Next, I'll cement the silver out of the solution on copper to get powdered cement silver. Next, to get the powdered cement silver out of that copper nitrate solution, there'll be a copper nitrate solution left over, and I run that through a filter and I remove my silver. Then I melt the silver. This is going to be silver powder. I melt it into shot. And then I run it through my silver cell. Here, any remaining impurities get removed. And I end up with 999 fine silver. That's my final product for the silver refining leg of this journey. After this hot nitric treatment and the silver and base metals get removed, you go this way with it and what I have here is 992 to 998 gold. Solid gold, fairly high purity, but to get it to the industry standard 999 fine gold, I want to dissolve in aqua regia. Dissolve the gold in aqua regia. Then I want to do a filtering on it to remove any solids.
and then I want to precipitate it. And precipitate the pure gold as a powder with the SMB. SMB is sodium metabisulfite. Then what I'll do is I filter out the gold out of that waste solution. Then I get my gold and melt it. And I end up with my final product, which is 999 fine gold. So we can see here that gold and silver start out together. They get separated chemically with nitric acid. The gold refining goes this direction. The silver refining goes this direction. After I get down here and I cement the silver out onto copper and filter it out of the solution, the solution is a waste solution, and it gets added to my silver stock pot. In my silver stock pot, it's full of copper. Copper wire, copper fittings, any kind of copper. And what happens in here is the any precious metals left in solution will cement out as a fine black powder and fall to the bottom of the stock pot. Once I'm certain that all the precious metals have cemented out of this, uh, solution, I transfer this solution to a waste bucket. In this waste bucket, it's full of iron, angle iron. All right. And what I do is take this solution that's going to be full of copper and siphon it into my waste bucket. Okay, back up here on the gold refining line, I do the same thing. I've got my gold stock pot, gold refining stock pot. It is also full of copper. After the gold gets filtered out of the uh, solution here, the waste gets poured into my gold refining stock pot, it's full of copper, and any precious metals will cement out and fall to the bottom as a black powder. Now this is going to be some PGMs, palladium, platinum, and there will probably be some gold in here, some residual gold will make it into my gold refining stock pot. So this black powder down here will be PGMs and gold. Once I'm certain that all the precious metals have, have uh, uh, dropped out of the uh, solution there, been cemented out with the copper, I siphon this waste solution into my waste bucket that's full of iron. Siphon. Okay, so now I've got the uh, waste solutions for my gold refining stock pot, the waste solutions from my silver refining stock pot, both siphon, siphoned into my waste bucket, it's got iron in it. And in accordance with the reactivity series of metals, the copper, it's going to be mostly copper from these two uh, stock pots, will cement out on the iron and fall to the bottom of my waste treatment bucket as harmless metallic copper. Metallic copper. It'll probably have some other metals in with it uh, and this metal I just throw away. There's, I don't have any, uh, I don't have the time or the uh, resources to try to refine the copper. It's contaminated with other metals so what I just end up doing with that is just I just toss it and get rid of it because I can buy copper uh, so cheaply for processing these other uh, implements on the uh, chart here. I can buy the copper at yard sales 
And so, you know, just pennies on the dollar for the copper. So there's no point in me trying to refine this copper. People have asked me about that, and I just don't have the time or the uh, resources to do that. So I just throw it away. Once all the uh, solution in my waste bucket here, uh, all the copper gets cemented out onto the iron, I siphon out the acidic iron solution now to a waste bucket for treatment with sodium hydroxide. I adjust that to I get a pH of 9, pH of 9 here because of in, well, with a greater pH some of the metals will come back out of solution. So I treat the waste from my uh, waste bucket here with iron, I treat that waste, siphon, I siphon it out into this bucket and then I treat that with sodium hydroxide to pH 9. After this is treated uh, with sodium hydroxide, the uh, solution is allowed to settle and then I filter out the solids and the solids will be metal hydroxides. It's just going to be a brown solid material that resembles pudding, okay? The solids can then be disposed of and the resulting caustic solution it'll be clear And what we'll do with that is treat that with pH down from the swimming pool store until I get it to a pH of 7. Then this can be safely disposed of. This is a shot of my uh, waste treatment bucket. As you can see, the copper has cemented out onto this uh, piece of iron in here. The solution is no longer blue. It's, uh, it's green, which means all I have in solution here is iron. All the copper has been cemented out, and that's what I want to see in this bucket. Here's what's in the waste bucket. It's a piece of iron. I put all my, uh, all, every bit of waste goes in here. And then any metals in solution will cement out on that piece of angle iron that's in there. It's all been cemented out now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to siphon the, the uh, solution out of this bucket here, down into this uh, waste treatment bucket down below. I've got a uh, plastic tube full of water here. Put my thumb over one end of it, just like before. Stick the other end in the waste bucket up here that has the uh, angle iron in it. Just release it down here and let it all drain into this bucket so I can treat that with sodium hydroxide. Okay, this waste will get transferred outdoors. I've got an area out here where I treat this waste. I don't do it in my shop because of the uh, fumes it produces. So I got me a little uh, spot here out in the back where I'll set this up to uh, treat the waste. Okay, treating this waste is pretty easy. All I really do is add some uh, sodium hydroxide or lye. And uh, this solution is going to be mostly iron. So I just, uh, I got a long grass, glass rod here that I used to stir with and I just pour the lye in like this. And then stir it up.
what will happen is uh, the metals will precipitate out as uh, their hydroxides. I do this to a pH of 9. I adjust this pH to 9 to make sure all the metals drop out. At higher pH, some other metals will go back into solution. So I want the pH at 9 for this operation. You've seen how it's turned color there. And I'll just, uh, I'll mess with this later, but just wanted to show the uh, waste treatment process there, sodium hydroxide. I keep this outdoors. Got a little cover here to keep the water off of it, the rain off of it. And that's it for the waste treatment. This is a bucket of waste that has been treated with sodium hydroxide. All the metals have been precipitated out as their hydroxides. And now what I do is I just scoop it out and I pour it into some filters here and filter it out to get all the uh, hydroxide material out of the solution. Just pour it in a coffee filter here. What I'll do is let this uh, material just drain through the filters there and I'll let it dry out until it's like a moist cake and then it can be safely disposed of under here if you look you'll see that there's some liquid in there that's going to be a caustic liquid and what I do with that is I add some uh, pH decreaser to neutralize it to uh, a pH of 7 and then that can just be poured down the drain safely Eventually, in an upcoming video, what I'll do, I've had this uh, stock pot going for quite some time. I had this one going for quite some time. There's going to be some uh, possible PGMs in here. And maybe some gold. I don't know. I, I have never refined these stock pots yet. But these two, right down here, these are going to have some valuable metal in them. And that's what I want to try to get out uh, in, a, in an upcoming video. What I'll do is I'll take this metal out, refine it, and get the pure metals out. And then I'll take the wastes from those two refinings and start a new stock pot. I'll get a new, uh, new buckets, fill them full of copper, and take the waste from these two refinings and start new stock pots. I don't want to put anything with ammonia in either one of these stock pots. Any kind of ammonium hydroxide or ammonium chloride solutions. I want to keep those out of my stock pots because that'll form ammonia in my shop and that's corrosive. It gets all over metal parts and uh, causes corrosion. So I treat the ammonia products separately. All right, a quick overview. Carrot gold and 925 sterling silver get alloyed together, it's called encording, to form a low carat gold. Next step is to treat it with hot dilute nitric acid. This removes the silver and the base metals from those solids. I add more silver to the solution because there will be some additional free nitric acid in there that must be removed and the best way to do it is put more silver in there until there's some pieces of silver left in the bottom of the uh, reaction vessel. Next, I filter out any solids that accumulate in there. I save those filters because there may be precious metals in those filters. I take the uh, filtered solution and I add copper. I cement the silver out on copper. Then I remove the silver <coughs> excuse me, from that solution in a filter. And I melt the metal into shot, run it through my silver cell, and produce 999 fine silver. The waste from this filtering operation gets added to my silver refining stock pot. It is full of copper. Any remaining silver in there is going to cement out and fall to the bottom of the bucket as solids. There probably, there may be some uh, platinum group metals in there as well, but they all accumulate down here in the bottom of this stock pot. Once that metal is cemented out on the copper, I siphon it into my waste treatment bucket that's full of iron. In here, the copper comes out of solution onto the iron and falls to the bottom as harmless metallic copper. Then I can dispose of that. Going back up here, when all the silvers are removed from the gold, the encoded gold, 
I'm and I'm left with a uh, some solids that's 992 to 998 pure gold. I dissolve that in aqua regia, filter out any solids, precipitate pure gold with SMB or whatever precipitate you decide to use. I filter the gold out of that waste solution. I melt the gold, and then I get 999 fine gold as my product. The waste that comes from this filtering operation gets added to my gold refining stock pot that's also full of copper. Any platinum group metals that are in that waste solution will cement out on that copper and fall to the bottom as a black metallic powder. There's probably going to be some gold in there too because when I get these solutions out, a little bit of the gold might come over into my gold refining stock pot, which is just fine because I'll do a, a recovery of all the precious metals in the bottom of this stock pot. Once I'm certain that all the metals are out of solution, I siphon, over he siphon it over here into my waste treatment bucket that's full of iron. This is going to be mostly copper in solution. So the copper comes out of solution on the iron, forms the harmless metallic copper, and I can just throw it out away then. I siphon the acidic iron solution that's remaining in this bucket now. All the copper and any other metal below iron has been cemented out onto the iron. So all I have is iron in solution here. I siphon that over here to a waste treatment bucket. I add sodium hydroxide to precipitate out the iron as its hydroxide, iron hydroxide. I add the sodium hydroxide to a pH of 9. Then I allow it to settle. It will have a clear solution on top of a dark brown solution that resembles pudding. I put the uh, solids through a filter and I, solid, I filter out the solids and, the, and they can be disposed of. Then the clear solution, which is going to be a caustic solution, gets treated with pH down to bring the pH down to 7. I get that at the swim pool store and until uh, I get a neutralized pH 7 solution and then it can just be disposed of. That will conclude my waste treatment process of how I dispose of the waste. I frequently get asked, what do I do with the waste? Do I pour it down a drain? No. Do I pour it in the toilet? No. Do I pour it on the ground? No. Every drop of my gold silver refining waste gets processed using this process right here so that I can safely neutralize everything and then safely dispose of it. Thanks for watching.